Here is practice assignment 3-4 from your homework. So we're talking about the triangle sum theorem, which was talking about exterior angles and the two remote interior ones. And as it states in number one, the remote interior would be the sum of the two remote interior ones. So number two, y, this exterior angle is the sum of the two remote interiors. So sum always means answer to an addition problem. Number three, same setup. Here's the exterior, here are the two remote interiors. 75 plus 68 is 143. M equals 36 plus 93. 129. Oops. <clears throat> X equals 61 plus 79. Oh no. They only showed me the measurement of one angle. But wait, what does that mean? The little square means 90 degrees. So we've got 46 plus 90 is 136. Now, what about these? Well, I've got Y and that's an exterior angle on this smaller triangle. So I could say y equals 55 plus 90. So that's 145. And now if I look at, uh, let's see here. Now for x, how can I figure out x? Well, wait a minute, we don't have to use the exterior angles idea, we can just say the sum of the interior angles of a triangle always adds up to 180. So if I've got x right here, this is 90 and this is 55, then I would say x is equal to 180, take away 55, take away 90. So here's the total, here's the ones that I know, and so I will be left with x. So in that case, x ends up being 35. And so that leaves me with z. I'm going to use that same logic for z. I found out that y was 145. This angle up here is 10, so z is this long, skinny triangle here. So I got 10, I got 145, and I got z. <clears throat> so I'm going to set it up the same way, 180 take away the 10 degree angle, take away the 145 degree angle, and I'm left with z equals 25. Number eight, where are the angles that I can figure out? Oh, hey look, it's a triangle, and they give me two of the angle measurements. That must mean the third one, I'll leave room to go alphabetically on this one, sorry. <clears throat> the third one would This third one will be 180 minus the 44 minus the 53. And so that adds up, uh, that result is 83 degrees. So now I know this is 83. And if that's 83, I can look over at this small triangle with the A and the B and realize that the 83 is an exterior angle for this guy. And so 83 has to equal the sum of the two remote interiors. Well, this one is called A, and this one is 28. So now for A, I'm up here at 83, oops, 83 equals A plus 28. 
uh, subtract the 28 from both sides and you get 55. Ah, so now I can go back to just using the angles in a triangle add up to 180 and say 28 plus the 55 plus the B adds up to 180. So I'll do 180, take away the 55 of A, take away the 28 that they gave me, and I've got 97. Number nine. Let's start, I'll write them down. W, oh, in no particular order. So first, let's look at V. V is an exterior angle to this triangle because I extended the side, extended one of the sides. So now with this is my remote, uh, this is my exterior angle. These are my two remote interiors. So V would equal 56 plus 62, which is 118. Now let's see if we know that that's 118, then W plus 118 plus 25 are the angles inside a triangle. And the angles inside a triangle always add up to 180. Or how I was going to write that. Add up to 180. So for W, I'm going to set it up as the 180 that they're all equal to. That they all add up to. 180, I'll take away the 25 that I know. I'll take away the 118 that I just calculated, and I'll be left with 37. Great, so now we've got uh, for angle T, where are we? Oh, angle T. This is an interior angle of a triangle. And I know two out of three of those angles. So inside a triangle, I should always add up to 180. So T will be the 180 that I'm adding up to. If I take away these two, I'll be left with just the value of T. So 180 minus 56 minus 62 equals 62. Now let me make some room here. Okay, so now we've got the hundred and f oops. for number 10, we have this 140 degree angle. And over here, the two remote interiors are one and whatever this is. Well, this symbol always means 90. So I'm going to set it up over here as 140 is the sum, meaning the answer to an addition problem, of the measure of angle 1 and the angle over here, 90. Subtract 90 from both sides, and you get measure of angle 1 would be 50. Number 11. Here's my exterior. Here are the two remote interiors. Exterior angle equals the sum of the two remote interiors. Subtract the 32 from both sides, and I'm left with um, 88. Oops, 88. How can we do this? Well, 3 and 4, I know are going to be congruent, but how can I use some of this other stuff? Oh, wait a minute, why are they going to be congruent? Because they're vertical. Haven't seen those guys in a long time. So how can I use something about this remote interior exterior angle stuff? Well, if I have two angles here and a third one that I don't know, I'm going to use the triangle sum theorem that 180 will be the sum of all of my angles inside the triangle. 72 plus 86 plus the measure of angle 3. I'll subtract the 72 and the 86 from the 180 and I'm left with uh, 22. And look at that, 22, this, this measure of angle 3 is vertical with angle 4. So the measure of angle 4 would also be 22. And now I know if this is 22, and this is 70 in this corner, <clears throat> back to the triangle sum theorem, 
these three angles inside the triangle will add up to 180. So 180 equals 22 plus 70 plus the measure of angle 5. And the measure of angle 5 turns out to be 88 degrees. And for angle 5, angle 3 is 22, and 4 was 22. Number 13, exterior angle, two remote interiors. I know what to do. They have to be congruent. 126.8 equals the sum of 69.7 plus the measure of angle 2. Subtract this from both sides, and I'm left with 57.1. 14. Angle 3 would be the sum of 46 and 90, Oops. which is 136. 15. Hey, look. I've got two angles inside a triangle, and I need to know the third. Well, those should all add up to 180. So I've got 116 plus 31 plus the measure of angle 1 Oops, equals 180. So subtract the 116 and the 31 from the 180, and the measure of angle 1 uh, is 33. How about angle 2? Well. Here's 38, here's 90, angle 2, I can figure out the same way. This one plus this one plus this one have to add up to 180. 90 plus 38 plus the measure of angle 2 is 180, so I subtract the 90 and the 38 from both sides, and angle 2 is 52 degrees. 16. I have a 10 centimeter a 10 centimeter and an 8 centimeter. If we're talking about the sides of a triangle, my choices are equilateral, isosceles, C E L E S, oh, sorry, bad penmanship, isosceles and scalene. Equilateral is three sides equal, isosceles is two sides equal. Scaling, no sides equal or congruent, I should say. So I've got two, that means this is isosceles. Hey, look, let's classify it with angles this time. So now, if you've got a 44, a 110, and a 26, my options for angle classifications of a triangle are equiangular. Right. Oops. Acute and obtuse. So this is three equal angles. This is a 90 degree angle. This is everything less than 90. This is one of them greater than 90. So what do we have here? Less than 90, greater than 90, less than 90. All I need is one. Actually, as a matter of fact, all I could have is one obtuse <laughs> angle. Um, and so my triangle here is obtuse. Now, you're supposed to use a protractor and a centimeter ruler to measure the angles and the sides of each triangle. So go and find the protractor and a centimeter ruler to do that. And then <clears throat> you have to classify them by its angles and its sides. So I don't need to see your angle measurements, but if you haven't done this yet, you'll find that this will be a right angle. And none of these sides are congruent, so I could even show you this. And none of these little hatch marks match each other, so that's one way of showing that none of those sides are congruent. So by angles, it would be a right angle, right triangle. By sides, it would be a scalene. Number 19, you find that this angle is greater than 90, so that makes it obtuse if we classify by angles, and you also find that these two are congruent, so it's obtuse isosceles. 
and number 20 you find that all of the sides are congruent and all of the angles are congruent so it's equiangular equilateral thanks great so now you should be ready for quiz 3-4 and in quiz 3-4 the main topics that you will be assessed on are knowing the difference between the original statements about when lines are parallel, then the angles are either congruent or supplementary. So that's one set. Then you also have to know the converses. So if they tell you that the angles are congruent or supplementary, then you can conclude that the lines are parallel. So these are the original, these are the um, converses. Then you also need to know the triangle sum theorem, which means the inside angles add up to 180 in a triangle. And the triangle exterior angle theorem, which is that an exterior angle is the sum of the two remote interiors. So not all three inside, but one outside, two more inside. Those are the things that will be on quiz 3-4. If you have any questions before the quiz, please ask me, and good luck.